Yeah, this is a bigger ray. We just took something good. We got the video kicking off for you in a minute, but before we get started with the video, I wanted to give a quick little shout out to Janto Gear. This is my clothing company, my merchandise for the channel, that sort of thing. Uh, I got the hats that I make in house. They come, uh, everyone's custom made. So if you order one with a Snook design or Redfish design or whatever you do, I get the hat, I make the design, I cut it out, I press it, I do all that. Uh, I also have the stickers. You can see them all on the website, jantogear.com. Stickers, this is a shirt, not a sticker. Do shirts and stickers. Uh, now for the video. I almost didn't make this video and that's because we didn't really kill it, but this video is an excellent example of the diversity that we can see in just one day of fishing out here on the water. Uh, Logan and I are about to go head out, stick along for the adventure, and you will see all sorts of weird, cool stuff in this video. What's happening? Joey here and Logan. And we're out in Logan's boat today and it is foggy. We're actually, we don't have a bottom machine or tracks on our GPS right now and I've been through this channel a million times and I'm actually struggling to get through it uh, without getting into too shallow water because this fog is so insane. I can't see any of my landmarks. I can't see any of the pilings or the shoreline or anything. I mean, the shoreline's just a couple hundred feet behind me and I cannot see it. I can see bottom though, so I know it's shallow. And uh, that way's east. Look at that sun. This is absolutely insane. So I know there's a marker over here somewhere I'm looking for. This is crazy. Look at the water droplets on my eyes and eyelashes, or eye, eyebrows, or whatever they're called. But it's taken longer than I thought to get offshore. We're zigzagging, but uh, we're just about to the channel. I can see land. No, maybe, I don't know. We gotta be close, dude. I might have to open my phone to use the G. Oh, there's, there's a piling right there, okay. Got a good bearing now, sort of. That's land, Logan, you're going straight towards land. Where? Those are trees. Go out that way. Oh my God. Oh my God. Where are we? You're going to hit that shoal. There's that shoal coming up right up here. Keep going out that way. Go out that way. Oh my gosh. Go back like that way more. Dude, this is nuts. Passing channel marker five right now. We are in the inlet. We're actually, I can see the tide flowing. We're going against the tide. It's incoming tide. And you can't see either side of the inlet. So there's a buoy. That's the green buoy. Is that a buoy? Yeah, that's one of the buoys. Do we want to stay on the other side of that? Oh, it's deep enough. We can, just gives us a good reference. That's the green buoy, so straight east of that. So we are in the inlet. Yeah, we're definitely in the inlet. The tee dock's like right over there. Oh man, tide pool will be coming up on our left a little bit. We got to get past the, the next buoy. There's the tee dock right there. We're making our way closer to the bridge. Got some lights up there. Okay, so we're doing good now. We got a boat over there. So this this can be super dangerous, guys. You gotta really be careful when you're in conditions like this. Not only for yourself, but someone can come flying at us and we can't do anything about that. So always be on the lookout. But this is just absolutely nuts. This is like straight out of like a scary movie. Look at the bridge coming up on the bridge right here. I think the white pelicans are out because of the fog. What? White pelicans are out. Logan says they're out because of the fog. Now they're here and they're in the winter time, but this is absolutely ridiculous. Passing under the bridge, we got the south jetty there. Can you imagine charging this on outgoing? North on jetty is somewhere up there. Yeah, that would be insane. There's that inlet, north jetty. Just insane. All right, we're done with the hard navigating. Now we just pretty much got to look out for boats. We're gonna go ahead, uh, hit the beach, and maybe go look for some fish. Craziness! Last time me and Logan went out when it was foggy, we found some cool stuff, so hopefully we get to get into that again. All right, we, I can see the shadow. Keep going up a little bit. This is good? Yeah. All right, let's see if we got them. I'll let you know if I feel them in the net. Dude, I feel some weight in the net. Did you whack them? I don't know how many we got, but I'm feeling a little something in the net. I 
Oh my gosh, dude. I'm gonna need some help down here, Logan. Oh my gosh, all right, I'm hopping down. Well, we found something. I think we got enough bait for the day. We oh got ball my bait. gosh. Swimming the net out. All right, we're gonna dump a bunch of these out. Look how many there are. Dump a bunch out. They are all pogies, huh? Yeah. Nice, perfect. They are that perfect. Right there. Perfect pogies too. Oh yeah. Well. It's been happening every single time I'm offshore. We have a baby mula mula up here. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That's a little baby sunfish, Logan. You see him? Yeah, dude, it's so close in. Logan spotted that thing. Pitch the pogey at him just in case there's a triple tail, I mean a cobia down below him or something. Dude, I've never seen one that big. Or that small. Yeah, dude, that is so cool. Hey, we're in the right area. Look at that freaking mula mula. Mula mula! <laughs> hey, bud, look at this. Oh my over. god! It's coming right up to us. Dude, he's a little bigger than I thought he was. Yeah, there ain't nothing on him, but so cool, dude. So cool. I have seen five mula mulas in the past, in January, and that's more than I've seen in my entire life. So cool. Pogies running off of him. I don't see anything on nah, him. No, nothing on him. Not a very big one, but we're going to keep looking. We're in the right area here. Definitely in the right area. Just found this rip. Big man ray. We're going to keep it going and see if we can find some cobes. Pitch up in front of him. There you go. Now reel. throw again if you want I didn't see anything on him that time we got another ray here guys this is a bigger ray he's diving down we spooked him we actually ran that one over and came back around to him he was right under us but there he is these rays are being happy dude I think we got a good shot Logan that's a pretty big one too we could not make it happen offshore but we have these beautiful pogies so we're gonna see if we can come in to the inlet and pull off a snook or something, or a redfish maybe. Let's see. We just took something good. What do we got? Oh, we got a heavy fish hooked up, guys. I haven't seen him yet, Lug. Oh man, we couldn't get anything offshore, but we came in here. Oh, nice red. Is it? Yeah, I got a nice red fish. On one of those pogies. Look at him up top out there. Woo hoo! Oh! Dude, he smoked that thing. Oh, this is sick. Saving the day. We risked it all looking for the cobias. We didn't find them. But we came in here and we get to pull in some big redfish and some heavy current. That is what I'm talking about. We got to land a fish today. Dude, Logan, I just cannot get this guy against the current. I'm going to tighten up on him a little bit. He's just going back and forth, back and forth. We're getting some good pumps on him now, though. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. 
There we go, there we go, there we go. He's swimming up. Logan, I might need a little hand landing this one. I got, I got a net. A good net. Whatever you want to do. Oh, he's getting his head down. Come on that side. I mean, it's a decent sized red, and in that current, he's just so heavy. There we go. I gotta keep him up like that. Wait, watch your rod. Hooked perfect right in the corner. Uh oh. Got Heavy him. Fish. That is what we're looking for. Something for the Woo! day. Something for the day right there. Nice red fish. Go ahead, pop that hook out. Alright, we got him. We're gonna go ahead and take him right back over here. Shoot him right back head first. Later, buddy.